always an exciting day here at Survival Living. So, guys, like I said, been dealing with trolls. Yeah, don't listen to those trolls. Well, when they call you all the time, making threats and stuff like that, it's, it gets old really quick. So, I released the video giving these individuals a way out, telling them, I know who you are. I warned them. Well, <laughs> they decided to call, well, one of them decided to call me back and kept on calling. First, he pretended to be an attorney, a lawyer, and he was going to sue. Um, and then he just kept on, kept on, kept on. And finally, I, I told him off, told him where, what I thought about him. I hung up and he just kept on calling. And then he pretended to be contacting and talking to the sheriff department on the phone. And let, he, he left a message on my phone after I told him I don't consent to a um, being recorded here in the state of Florida. It is a third degree felony if you record somebody and they said, no, you can't. Just so you know, Mr. Attorney. Um, but, anyway, he decided to also send a text of all kind of stuff. Um, luckily, I do have the numbers fully blocked, and that number is also going to be turned into the Sheriff Department. Because, hey, I gave them the way out, told them to knock it off, and they just kept on. And that's the problem with trolls. They actually think they're smart because they get to live rent-free at Mama's basement. Unfortunately, for the rest of us that's had to work hard all of our lives, we had to learn a thing or two. All right, let's get into it. Now, I did bleep out his name, and I also did bleep out and remove parts of the telephone number so I cannot get hit by doxing because you cannot dox. So, enjoy. I know I am. Uh, yes, sir. My name is Mike. I recorded a threat from this phone number. Uh, and also vulgar language from a business line. Uh, the person uh, seemed triggered. I need this uh, recording at this business to be provided to the sheriff as evidence also. The individual has my phone number 602. Uh, please do give me a call, deputy. Uh, Sheriff, local police department, I will be contacting also for that Florida region on Monday and Pacific Agency. And uh, the individual that called did threaten on phone, which I have recording of, and also made a YouTube uh, prop where he was triggered uh, for the state of Wisconsin and uh, Texas. We will be going after his business legally, and we will file the claim here in Wisconsin, which we have a right to do. And I hope he is truly insured and bonded. And then we also fill in out a long form with documentation to YouTube. Uh, Joseph uh, gets easily triggered if you study his past deals. Uh, once again, he has my information. He's made it public on YouTube, defamation of character. He stated that I made threats. I did not. Didn't even cuss at him, but we got him cussing on the phone and making threats. So this will be going public in a professional manner to different agencies, and it will take some time. Best of luck. Nothing to hide. So, guys, as you notice, I had to bleep out certain things because one thing you cannot do here on YouTube is what's known as doxing. All right, I've been doing this for a while, almost three years now. So. I took out his name, which, by the way, the name he's giving is not registered to the telephone number or address that he is actually uh, giving away here, because his actual address is coming from Phoenix, Arizona, and not from Wisconsin. Uh, so, for you individual, you're the same person that contacted me, leaving crank calls about you were doing a spoof video on me and stuff like that, talking about my wife and another one, and then you kept on calling, which... It should be a nice little pop up there for you because I, I kind of gave you a warning. I came on here and warned, knock it off. And then you decided to call my bluff and keep calling back and forth. Um, so, your recording, as I clearly stated in the phone call here in the state of Florida, is a uh, class three felony. When I tell you I do not give you consent to record me in the state of Florida. So, which you did not have a recording because if you did you're going to prison okay number two 
I am a licensed business. I am insured. So you go right ahead because you called my number after work hours harassing me. So because I cussed you out, that's not illegal. Hate to break it to you, buttercup. So my wife's over there giggling right now because she knows exactly how I am. Because I actually do know the law. Uh, baby, um, where exactly type of work does your family do and have done in the past? I'm just kind of curious. My father was a very well-renowned attorney, and I'm a certified paralegal. Yeah, and her mother used to work for the State Department. So, um, yeah, just, sorry, buddy. But, you go right ahead. Um, and by the way, when you called my number, leaving the voicemail saying, pretending that you're calling the police, uh, yeah, let me, to, to the deputy, to the sheriff, or whoever it, it, this is, uh, might want to work on your script first, buddy. I'm just saying. All right, guys, so that is why... I get frustrated with trolls because this is all hours of the day. I do have things in place. So when you call my number, I know exactly who you are. I got your telephone number and I have your address. Never once did I make a single threat. What I did say was you keep on after I gave you your warning, I would pursue charges. So congratulations, you're a dumbass. Catch you guys later.